interested in intricate knot designs, then you definitely don't want to miss out on this stylish floral knot pattern. here and welcome to Bochy Not Macrame. In this tutorial I will be going over what's called a daisy pattern. Sometimes I call it the circle pattern because it is symmetrical and it is also called the donut knot as well. What makes this pattern stand out is its floral like design. It's also simple to make even though it looks intricate. So don't be intimidated by how it looks, it is easier than it seems. You can continue repeating this knot pattern underneath to create a long set for your keychains, your plant hangers, and your wall hangings, but you can also make a wide pattern out of this knot as well. All you have to do is add columns of these daisy patterns and then connect them together with alternating daisy patterns. If you guys are interested in learning how to do that, let me know in the comment section below. And if you're interested in learning new knots and sentence, make sure you head on over to boshinap.com for a free downloadable 50 knots and sentence ebook. And with that said, let's get right into it. To demonstrate this knot pattern, I've used two strands of cord at 300 centimeters long each and attached them onto the dowel with Lark's head knots. We are going to start with the outer left and right cords and we're going to crisscross them over each other on top of the middle two cords. Then taking the middle right cord we're going to bring it up and through the loop on the right side for a half hitch knot. Then with the middle left cord, we're going to do the same thing on the left side, up through the loop on the left for a half hitch knot. Then we're going to pull on the anchor cords and the working cords to tighten. Now using the same working cords that we had just used to make the half hitch knots, we're going to now make double half hitch knots on the side. So with the middle right cord as a working cord, make a double half hitch knot onto the far right cord. Then repeat the same thing on the left side, mirroring what we just did on the right. Now to finish off this very first circle knot, daisy pattern, or donut knot, however you want to call it, we're going to take the anchor cords, crisscross them on top of each other underneath, and then using the middle right and left cords as working cords, make a half hitch knot on both sides, just like how we had started the pattern. And now to turn this into a senate pattern, we're going to repeat for another daisy pattern underneath. So taking the anchor cords that we had just used, we're going to crisscross them underneath again. And then taking the middle right and the middle left cords, we're going to make another half hitch knot on both sides. Now finish off the remainder of this daisy pattern just like how we did it above. Repeat for one more daisy pattern underneath. And we are now complete with this daisy senate. 
And that concludes our daisy knot pattern. What did you guys think of this? It's a little different than our double half inch knot daisy pattern because that one is in the diamond or oval shape instead of a circle shape, which is what you will get in this one. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and also click that subscribe button to stay tuned to our latest videos that we are adding to our knots and knot series playlist. And with all of that said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.